Today's tutorial is how to embed an HTML Flickr badge on the sidebar of your blog. Now you'll notice that I've got a tab open here which is the back end of my blog that I want to embed the badge on. To get to the place where you make a badge, here's the URL www.flickr.com forward slash badge dot g n e Today we're going to choose an HTML badge and we just follow the instructions on the screen. It's very easy. This page is where we choose the content. Of course we don't want all of the public photos and videos of the ISBES account. You're actually going to look for your own set. So I'm going to click down here and I'm going to look for a set that Joni created because it was Joni that inspired me to do this tutorial. Clicking on next so that I can look at the layout. I'm going to leave this one here ticked yes so that the ISB logo shows down the bottom and I'm actually going to ask this widget to display five photos. I'm going to ask it to do a random selection and I'm going to keep them as thumbnails and I'm going to keep the orientation vertical. I'm not going to choose any colours because you can see that by the preview that it's white and I think that that will go with any colour on my blog no matter what I change the theme to. So now all I need to do is click preview and I can just check that those are my photos and I do recognise those. So now all I need to do is copy and paste this chunk of code into my website where I want the badge to appear. So I click once in here and use Command C. I go over to the dashboard of my blog and it's a widget that I need to create. So I go down to Appearance and click on Widgets. Oops, I don't want to do that. I'm just going to go backwards. So my widgets, I'm going to add a text widget, which is here. Just make sure that that is the sidebar that I do want to put this widget on. It's placed itself right down the bottom here. Click inside the box and paste the code, Command V, and the title I'm going to give it is This Month's Photos. You can put any title that you like there. I'm going to click done and I'm probably going to move this one up I think. I might have it in between categories and where are you from. I must remember to click save changes and now I can go to visit the site and see what it looks like. And there you go, there's this month's photos coming through right there. 